Hi everyone, it's Lynn, DNL Create, and today I'm going to make some tulips. So I freehand drew this tulip onto a piece of cardboard and then I cut it out. Next, I took the hot glue and I got as close to the edge as I could all the way around the tulip, but I left an opening at the bottom. And then I loosely laid a piece of fabric on top of it. Um, I just went around and made sure all my edges were glued, which they all weren't. So you're going to see me go in and add a little more glue here and there. Um, but once I got all of it on there and I knew it was secure, I then flipped it over and I cut some slits in the fabric all the way around the tulip. Then I added hot glue to that side and I glued all of those pieces down. It got a little tricky at the top where the points were, but I kind of just folded them uh, off to the sides until the points were covered. And then I just went in and cut off any excess. Once I was done doing that, then I stuffed it. I just added a little bit of polyfill to start just to make sure I got it all the way up into those points. And then once I had the points filled, then I just added larger amounts at a time until I had it stuffed to the um, fullness that I wanted. And then I just closed up the bottom of it. Next, I glued a piece of twine to the back and I pulled it straight down the front of the flower in between the two points. And I pulled it real tight. I pulled it as tight as I could. I glued it down. I glued a piece of fabric to it to hold it better in place. And then I did the same thing in between the two points on the other side of the flower. And I guess I was basically trying to mimic like if you had sewn it there and it caused like indents and it gives it a little bit of dimension. And then the next thing I did was I ran that same twine all the way around the outside edge of the flower. And I do love the way that this turned out because it, it like I said, it's giving it some dimension and some texture. And I made three of these. Next, I tea stained a piece of drop cloth. I just soaked a tea bag in some water and then I just kind of dripped it and rubbed it all over the drop cloth. And it did get some grounds, some of the tea grounds on it, but you can just wipe those off once it's dry. And I did do the same thing to these flowers. And then once they were all dry, I cut a slit in the bottom of each of the flowers with the utility knife, added some hot glue and a stem. And these are just stems that came from a uh, different floral picks. Then I kind of arranged them in a bouquet and I wrapped them together with some electrical tape. Then I took my drop cloth and I did turn the top edge down once and I glued it around a piece of styrofoam. And then at the bottom, I just ran some hot glue across there and folded it up just once. Then before I went any further, I did glue a piece of twine on the back of the uh, middle flower for a hanger. And then I stuck my stems right through the styrofoam and I added some glue. The styrofoam did break apart a little bit, but it's okay. It works out because I glued a piece of cardboard to the back of it just to make it more durable. And then I flipped it back over and I took some raffia and I tied it right around that top part into a bow just under that cuff. And then I added Spanish moss to cover up the styrofoam and then I glued all the flowers together. And it turned out really cute. I think it's really cheerful and springy. And I hope you like it too. And I hope you give this one a try. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.